Hey and welcome uh, folks. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a successful um, bridge for a full bridge type um, setup for a Tesla core. So here is one that I just put together. I'm using plumber solder for this and um, copper ribbon which you can buy off of eBay. And it's easy to cut by just bending it backwards and forwards till it, it fatigues and breaks instead of sawing it. And uh, the uh, I'm using double clad board, as you can see here, and I've uh, soldered the ribbon onto the board. So in this video, let me uh, take you through the steps. So the first step is to get your clad. Here's some double uh, clad um, board, good quality board, you can buy this from Amazon or eBay and uh, you want to make sure it has a good thickness of copper on it and then take a piece like this and saw it into two separate halves like that. So what I have here is a piece of cloud which has been sawed into two separate halves. You can uh, sandpaper the edges to make sure there are no shorts and then I have six pieces of uh, copper ribbon. I just bought a roll of it and then just cut it like that and marked it where I want to solder it onto the clad. I used a permanent marker to mark it. As you can see those black lines right there. And so the six pieces of this ribbon and the, the two pieces of clad are all that we're going to start with. So here goes. The whole purpose of making a bridge in this way is to reduce parasitic inductance that could mess up your whole operation of your Tesla core in a full bridge setup or a half bridge setup. But anyway, this is uh, dealing with the full bridge. The first thing you want to do is sandpaper using coarse sandpaper. Here's some coarse sandpaper. The side that you want to solder. So I'm going to solder this. I'm using the heavy transformer as a paperweight to kind of hold this piece of copper down. Here we have one of the joints. Now we're going to continue to do the rest of them. Before applying the solder, make sure that you've put some plumber's flux onto the copper to prevent oxidation. That's an important thing to do to uh, have a successful soldering joint. Mm -hmm. 
do the next side of this bridge. Here's the uh, one side done, so we're going to do the other side right now. So let's begin heating. I've just held it down with a magnet, as you can see there, onto a beefy looking transformer. So let's fire up the um, gas and get going. So here it goes with the gas. Turn it down a bit, it's a little bit too high. Let's um, the, the side that we want to solder onto on this bridge. Let's uh, also get that piece um, done. So let's uh, just sand that down with some coarse sandpaper right here. So we'll do that right now. The coarse sandpaper doesn't hurt. We can put some flux on that too. Here's some flux material. Spread it on. It doesn't have to be a lot, just needs a little bit of it. Too much actually will hinder it. So you're better off putting just a little bit on. And then um, let's um, get this thing heated up so that we can put it on. Here goes, I bent it a little bit so that I could um, angle that part of the bridge to fit over it. So let's see if it's gonna melt yet. Lift this up a bit. I just finished dram drammeling the channels here. As you can see there, the divider from the edge is too hard. So I have um, two separate halves of the bridge now to make a full bridge. So this is the basic setup. Okay folks, here's the finalized product. There's the one I made earlier right here, and here's the one I just made in this video. And what I've done is I've marked these copper strips for the correct polarity. And I've put some little uh, terminals on, as you can see here. Just soldered these on. These are, piece, these are little strips of copper for your uh, MOSFET or IGBT connections. And you can solder them directly, the pins of those directly onto these. And I used little bits of 12 gauge wire to do the same thing here, as you can see there. And if we turn this over, that's where it's divided. And I just, this is where I dremeled it. The same thing here. Where, the, where it's been dremeled, so you've got your, connect, your correct uh, bridge configuration. In a follow-up video to this one, I'm going to show you how the electrons flow through this bridge to uh, create an alternating current across a load. So uh, please watch that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.